and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Jillian and today I have an all day clean with me this is like an extreme cleaning motivation video so I have some friends coming into town tomorrow from Florida they're going to be staying with us for a few days so I needed to go ahead and get the house cleaned um, Madison has been sick and she missed two days of school so I wasn't able to clean up and the house turned upside down from her being home for two days because every time I tried to clean up she would start crying because she literally wanted me next to her 24 7 so she went back to school today and I just finished actually filming a lot of this video and I was just about to sweep mop and vacuum downstairs but since my friends aren't going to get here until tomorrow like early afternoon I figured I would leave that for the very last minute because I know between me Robert and the kids will probably drag in like dirt and leaves from coming in and out so I'm going to leave that for the very last minute so I'll probably film that tomorrow hopefully I have time to film that right before they get here um but I did just finish cleaning upstairs. I didn't feel myself cleaning my bathroom or the kids' bathroom because I was trying to hurry up and get that done. But I did film when I cleaned the kids' bedroom and also vacuumed upstairs. I also washed some towels. So yeah, this is gonna be like a really good motivational clean with me. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, I'm gonna try to film some more tomorrow. I'll probably film myself vacuuming, sweeping, mopping, and then I guess getting the guest room put together. Um, I did clean up a little bit in the guest room, but I just ripped off all the sheets and I'm currently washing them. So I have to put them back on the bed. So this will be picked up tomorrow. All right, guys. So this is the horrifying and scary before on how my house was looking. This is what happens when one of the kids or both the kids get sick. I just get behind on everything. Anytime I try to pick up and clean, Madison would literally start crying because she wanted me to hold her. So I was not able to pick up as much as I would like while she was sick. So this is the before. I just want to show you guys how everything was looking. <music> So this was day one and I'll be starting off upstairs. I did already clean the kids bathroom and also my bathroom. I did not feel myself doing that just because I wanted to hurry up and get that out of the way. So I am starting off in Madison's bedroom. I'm just going to go ahead and pick up everything. There was a lot of stuff there on the floor from me getting her ready from that morning for school and just other random stuff that was not put away that was kind of just thrown on her floor like this little Halloween costume I got her for our Halloween party that we were having and then new wipes and stuff like that so I'm gonna go ahead and straighten up her room So I like to put all of the extra diapers and wipes in little baskets in Madison's room. I hate having boxes in her closet or in her room. So I just have these two little baskets that one is for extra diapers and then the other one is for any extra wipes. So I had recently bought some new hangers for Madison's bedroom. They were these velvet hangers and I never put them in her closet. So I was going ahead and putting all of her new hangers in her closet and then taking all of Ryan's out because she did run out of hangers at one point and I had to go into Ryan's closet and use his. So all of his hangers, I'm just removing from her clothing and then putting her new hangers in her closet. And I'm gonna show you guys how much clothes this little girl has. It is crazy. Didn't realize how much clothes she has until I was putting everything away. And I'm pretty sure she has like triple the amount of clothes that I do. And this is all of Madison's clothes, literally front to back. It is completely stuffed and that's not even including her drawers. She has more clothes in her drawers like leggings, shorts, pajamas, stuff like that. So she has a ton. Now moving on to my son Ryan's bedroom. I'm going to go ahead and straighten things up. He had a few clothes and hangers I needed to straighten up in his closet. So I just quickly did that and then I made his bed. And then I'll just go ahead and straighten up the rest of his room as well as vacuum both the kids room. Thank you. 
So my son made these crafts out of plastic straws and they were driving me crazy. He had them for like maybe a week or two and he would drag them everywhere. And while he was at school, I decided to just go ahead and toss them out. He was not very happy with me, but I could not take it anymore seeing all those straws everywhere. need to invest in a new toy chest and also bookshelf for ryan he's had this same one since he was a baby i think my mom bought it for him when he was maybe one or two i know he was a baby when he, my mom bought it for him and we just need a new one this is where i store all of his books and then all the way on top he has all of like his coloring books or any books that are too large to fit in the bottom so i just wanted to go ahead and quickly organize it it always gets super messy really quickly with ryan pulling things out and when he puts it back he does not put it back neatly so i just want to quickly go ahead and organize that. I also decided to go ahead and put a little wall plug-in in his room. We used to keep his hamster in his bedroom and his room started smelling like hamster and we cleaned the hamster cage like twice a week and for some reason it still always gets a smell. So we took him out of his bedroom but I feel like the smell is still lingering in his bedroom so I just wanted to put a wall flower in there and make sure that his room was smelling nice and good after I cleaned it. Now it is time to move over to the loft slash office area and clean that area up. This is where the kids play with the hamster. As you guys see that kitty pool, you guys know I always let them play with the hamster in that kitty pool just so the hamster won't run away. And then I just had a bunch of other random stuff thrown everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up everything and then vacuum. <laughs> So now it is time to go ahead and clean downstairs. So this is the guest bathroom. This is the bathroom that everyone uses when they come over to the house. And this is the bathroom that my friends will be using to like take a shower and stuff. They have their own full bath. It has a shower and everything. So I just want to hurry up and clean this bathroom so that tomorrow when they arrived, it was nice and clean.
Now it is time to clean up the guest bedroom. I feel like the guest bedroom has become a catch-all area. So in that basket that you guys just saw me take out, it's a bunch of stuff that I need to donate. It's stuff of the kids that don't fit them anymore, they just don't use, and I haven't gotten time to go ahead and donate it. And I was just having it stored in the guest bedroom, in the guest closet. This is where I keep all of Christmas gifts. So I've been stocking up on Christmas gifts for the kids. I like to stock up early and start collecting things so that by the time Christmas comes, I have a good stash. and. I've been hiding it in the guest bedroom closet. Also, I have a lot of Halloween stuff in there. We were having a Halloween party while our friends were here. So a lot of the stuff for the Halloween party was in this closet as well. So obviously I wanted the closet to be cleared out so that when they came, they could use it to put like their suitcases in or hang anything up. I didn't want them to see this huge clutter. So I pulled everything out from the closet and I cleaned it up. You. Still 
following day day at two i'm gonna pick up where i left off so i'll be starting off in the kitchen once again even though i just cleaned the kitchen yesterday obviously it did get a little messy once again from the morning from packing the kids lunch making them breakfast and in the night before dinner and stuff so i needed to go ahead and unload the dishwasher put away all the clean dishes i think there was a few dishes in the sink that were dirty that i needed to go ahead and load up and just wipe down the kitchen counters and make sure that it was nice and clean take it from me Now I'm going to finally go ahead and sweep and mop the entire house. So I'm just sweeping up the kitchen and then the living room and then I will go ahead and mop everything as well.
So I completely forgot to film myself putting the clean bed sheets and pillowcases back on the bed. I did it the night before. I washed the sheets the day before and then at night when they were done in the dryer, I put them back on the bed and didn't even think about recording it. So I did not record myself doing that. But right now I'm just going ahead and making the bed for our friends. And then I always have an extra blanket on the end of the bed just because I feel like this blanket that is on the bed is just super thin and I don't feel like it really keeps you warm. So I always have an extra blanket for them to use. And this is the after I completely forgot to film downstairs. I know horrible, but I did film upstairs on how everything was looking once I was done cleaning. Everything looked amazing. The house was spotless and I would have loved my house to look like this all the time, but it's just not realistic, but it definitely looked amazing once I was completely done cleaning. All right, you guys, so that is going to end my cleaning video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was filmed on two different days just because I couldn't finish the first day. I did have to go pick up Madison from school early. And also I wanted to leave like the sweeping, mopping and vacuuming for the very last minute before our guests got to the house. Cause I knew me, the kids and Robert will be dragging in like dirt and leaves from going in and out. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's motivational clean with me. If you did, please remember to give my video a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you guys next time. Bye.